How does God feel about fear? Well, let's find out. It says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. As we all know, people don't go to hell for sin. People go to hell for rejecting God. Fear has to be a pretty big enemy of God in order for him to put it in that type of order in the same category as those other things. So with me, if God views fear as an enemy, then I should view fear as an enemy. But you have received the spirit of adoption, the spirit producing sonship, and the bliss of which we cry, Abba, Father. We're joint heirs. We are heirs to the throne of God. That means whatever he has, we have. Whatever he can do, we can do. The things that are presenting themselves to us to get us into fear aren't even worthy of our attention. How many of you seen the movie Thor? Well, remember when he came down and uh, the, uh, his father had kicked him out of, of the kingdom and he didn't have power. Not that his power didn't work, but he lost sight of what? Who he was. Thor's hammer represented his authority. But it was just a vessel that was being used because the real power was in Thor knowing who he was. He didn't allow the enemy to come in and make him think he was anything less than who he was. He was son of Odin, just like us. We are children. We are heirs to the throne of grace. We are sons and daughters of God himself, the creator of all. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up shall be condemned. Every thought that rises up shall be condemned. Why? Because I'm an heir to the throne of grace. I'm a son, I'm a daughter of God himself. The enemy is very subtle when it comes to fear. He tries to push it on you and tries to make it seem like it's not even fear. It's just you being concerned about something. Dr. Dolly used to put it like this. I can't keep birds from flying over my head, but I sure enough can keep them from making a nest in my head. What does that mean? That means those thoughts can be above you, but you have the authority to not let them take root in your mind. I'm not gonna let those thoughts become something that I consider more than I consider the word of God. Now, I've got some fear versus faith or faith versus fear. Uh, comparisons that I want to show you. I need you guys to see this because I need you guys to see them side by side so that you know the differences. What is something that you don't desire? You to fail in life. There it is again. All of the things that you don't desire are non irrelevant. As I shared in that scripture earlier in Romans 8 15 through 18, it's not worthy of your attention. You see, in spiritual warfare, I, I taught on this months ago, but on spiritual warfare, it isn't a physical fight that we're having. It's the fight to stand on what God has already provided for us. God has provided a way of escape and it's called renewing your mind. Transform back into knowing, back into your understanding that you are an heir to the throne of grace, just like Thor is the son of Odin. As born again Christians, as believers, one of our biggest fears or one of the biggest fears that the enemy tries to use us to attack us is the fear that what God said in his word won't come to pass. Fear wants you to compromise your stance on faith. You address it quickly. You address it with authority. You address it with the power that God has given you. And you let nothing come in between you and your relationship with him. Fear is designed to consume you. It starts off something very small. It starts off like a, a thought. And as we know, fear connects you to whatever it is that you are fearing. The more and more I started studying it, the more and more I started seeing, that's why it was such an enemy to God. As, a, as the righteousness of God, as a son and daughter of God, I shouldn't fear anything.
Attention, all WCYE students. Get ready for our October doubleheader. On Friday, October 28th, we'll be headed to Tribulation Trail. I hope you're not afraid because anything may happen while we're out there. Just come out ready to have an awesome time. All waivers along with $14 are due by October 22nd for this trip. Meet us at the WCYE Junior High Building at 6.30 p.m. When? 6.30 p.m. We will return to the church at 11 p.m. Be sure to bring money for food. Uh-oh, thought it was over? On Saturday, October 29th, we'll be headed to Airsoft Battlefield. Everyone screamed how good they were at paintball. Well, if you missed that trip, this is your chance to show how good your aim is on a battlefield. Meet us at the WCYE Junior High Building at 6 p.m. When? 6 p.m. We will return to the church at 10 p.m. Be sure to bring money for food. All waivers along with $25 are due October 22nd for this trip. Let's go!